Right. Okay, so number eight. Question number eight. We've got the cylinder, it looks like a bit of a tennis ball pack. So you've got some balls in a uh, cylinder stacked up, and it works out that exactly that the radius of this is R, and the height of this is 6R. So we need to remember a couple of facts. Well, we've got the volume of the sphere. Let's remind ourselves of the volume of a cylinder. So our cylinder goes around like that, the sides come down like that, and the base of the cylinder like that. So we've got the radius R and the height H, the volume of the cylinder is equal to area of the circle on the end, pi um, pi r squared h, so the area of the circle on one end times by the height, area of the circle is pi r squared and the height is h, so we need to remember that. So we need to work out the proportion of the cylinder that's not filled by spheres. Let's work out the volume uh, of the cylinder first. Okay. So reminding ourselves about the formula, it's pi times uh, r squared, so in this case our radius is just r, times by the height, which is 6r, which is 6 can come to the front, so it's 6 pi r squared times r is just r cubed, so it's 6 pi r cubed. So the volume of one sphere is going to be using this formula 4 thirds times pi times r cubed and our r is just the same so the radius of the spheres is also just r which is 4 thirds pi r cubed so let's find out the volume of three spheres is then this number is three lots of four thirds pi r cubed which is three and three is going to cancel it's just four pi r cubed so this is that's the volume of the spheres that's the volume of that space. So the amount of empty space is just going to be 6 pi r cubed minus 4 pi r cubed, which is obviously just going to be 2 pi r cubed. So we when it says proportion, it's right as a fraction. So the amount of empty space, 2 pi r cubed, divided by the total amount of space in the cylinder, 6 pi r cubed, and we can see that the r cubes are going to cancel, the pi's are going to cancel, leaves us with 2 over 6, but 2 over 6 can be simplified as 1 third. So inside the cylinder, that the, whatever the size of the cylinder is, that the, um, in this case, the spheres take up 2 thirds of the space, and that means they're empty as 1 third of the space. Now, now, that's important, because in this expression, the proportion, there's nothing to do with the r in here or pi, and it's just a number value. So when what happens is the height is increased by 2r, so basically and we put another ball on top and we just extend the cylinder up to fill that. Malcolm says there's no change in the proportion of the cylinder not filled by spheres. Well, that's true, because the, um, the proportion between a number of spheres and the height is constant, it's always just going to be one third. So the proportion between the height 
height and number of spheres is constant. So let me just rephrase what I just said. So the, the amount of empty space is always going to be one third. The proportion between the height and the number of spheres, the amount of space filled is always going to be two thirds and the amount of uh, space empty is always going to be one third. And that's because the proportion between the height and the number of spheres is going to be a constant. Okay.